Hello all, here I am again with more information on how Adobe Connect compares with WebEx. Today I want to talk about how these two solutions work on mobile devices. And like I said in one of my previous videos, I want to focus on areas where these two solutions are different, since there are some things that both do well. First, I'll check out the mobile apps on my Galaxy S3 Android smartphone. When I was signing up for my WebEx account, I read on their website that the WebEx mobile app allows you to host or attend a meeting wherever you are. I have to admit, I was a little surprised when I read this because I was under the impression that Adobe Connect Mobile was the only mobile app that would let you host your online meeting. So let's see what's true. I open the WebEx app. Let's see if we can see anything that lets me be a host. Yes, I can start a new meeting from my smartphone, and of course that makes me the host. So what can I do now that I'm hosting a meeting from my phone? I can view participants and start chatting with them. I can invite more participants. I can view my meeting information. Leave the meeting or end the meeting. But I don't seem to be able to do any type of presenter related functions except for starting my webcam and my audio. I can't share files, for example. I can promote another attendee to be the presenter by passing the ball. And if they're on a PC, they can share something. But if I take back the ball, I can't even see what the other presenter shared. I suppose that's because I took away his presenter status. Nothing he's uploaded can be seen on my phone. By the way, this is different from the behavior on the PC, where I can see the slides even though the person who originally shared them is no longer the presenter. One other problem I noted with WebEx is that when the presenter shares a video or an MP3 file, we get a message that the content of the presentation is not supported on the mobile device. Can we do any better with Connect? Let's see. One thing I do like about the Connect mobile app is that once I've been in a particular meeting room, it's listed below so I don't have to type it in next time. I just tap it, and after entering my credentials, or my name if I'm attending as a guest, I'm in. The first thing you'll notice about the Adobe Connect mobile app is that it truly resembles the Connect meeting room on the PC. You can see all of the pods. All right then, as a host, what can I do? Well, if I tap the share pod, I can actually share something. I'll tap the Start Sharing button, and as you can see, I can select anything that's recently been shared, including PowerPoint slide decks, PDF documents, images, and even videos. At any time, I can stop sharing the document and share something else. Notice that when I want to interact with a particular pod, that pod expands to full screen. That's a really good thing when working with such small screen size, but I can also tap the room view icon to see the entire meeting room again. What else can I do? I can set my status to raise hand, agree or disagree. And my status icon shows up in the attendee list. I can manage my participants, promoting them to be host or presenter. So in Connect, not only can I do my host duties, but I can also do presenter duties as well. As I said before, both solutions do many things equally well. Camera video, both front facing and rear facing, viewing most types of content and chat, to mention a few, and there is one thing that neither does. Screen sharing from the mobile device is simply not supported by any mobile operating system yet. Let's check the experience on a device with a larger format. Here's WebEx on a Nexus 10 tablet. First of all, the form factor is a lot better due to the extra screen real estate on the tablet. Note though that I still can't share or present content from my mobile device. And just like on the smartphone, sharing a video or audio file gets us that same message about the content not being supported. I can share my webcam and see other people's video. And I do like the expandable video thumbnails across the bottom of the screen. You simply tap the expander to expand or collapse it. And if you expand the videos while content's being shared, the content shrinks a little so the videos don't cover up the content. That's a nice feature. Now let's check out Adobe Connect on the larger device. The meeting room looks very similar to what we saw on the smartphone. What happens if I want to share a file? I'll tap the share pod to expand it, tap the start sharing button, and whoa! 
Now I've got some new options. What happens if I click Share Document? Oh wow, this gives me all the options I would have on the PC. I can choose from documents that I've previously shared, whiteboards previously shared, any uploaded files, my content and shared content in the content library, and even, drum roll please, local files on my Android tablet. Unfortunately, this feature is not available on the iPad. I'll tap the local files. Nice, I can see my file system on my tablet. Let's try a photo. Very nice. And I can tap the room view icon at the upper left to see the content in the context of the entire meeting room. But let's zoom back in on the content by tapping it. Did you notice the draw button in the upper right? Let's tap it. And we get our drawing tools. We don't have all the options we would see on the PC, but we can draw freehand lines. We can change the color of the line by tapping the color box. And we can control the size of the line by touching the side circle and dragging up or down. There's a selection tool we can use to select, move, and resize drawn objects, and a trash can button for deleting them. Let's stop sharing this image and check out one of the other options for the share pod. I'll select Share New Whiteboard. So here we see the blank whiteboard with our drawing tools at the right, which I can use to draw a freehand line. Then we can stop sharing the whiteboard. Here's something else we didn't see in the smartphone version. There are some additional options in this menu at the lower left. For example, we have options here to record the meeting and switch layouts. Now I'm really beginning to feel like a host in this meeting. We also get more options for setting our status. And did you notice that the background image is displayed in our mobile device? Nice. So what's the bottom line? I've tried to be as objective as possible and point out the great and not so great features of both solutions. All things considered, I don't think there can be any argument that when it comes to online meetings on mobile devices, Adobe Connect is the hands down winner. Thanks for watching my video. And again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to be advised of the next post or use the info on the screen to contact me. Till next time, this is your Connect Guru.